All right, so today's video, we're gonna create this sensor mount here. Um, and before I get started, I just wanna to apologize to anybody whose uh, teacher or professor assigns them this without using it as a um, example to kind of teach you how to use AutoCAD and utilize your geometry experience. Cause this is a really tough part and it's kind of missing a lot of information unless you know some higher level geometry tricks. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of those tricks today. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over to my other screen. And all I've done so far, um, and I'll actually erase these and start from the beginning. All I've done so far is in my layer properties, I set up two layers, um, a construction layer and an object layer. And my construction layer is gonna be a gray. I like to use that. You can always turn it off at the end. And my object layer is gonna be a nice dark blue. Okay, so it's really easy to see, all right? So I'm gonna close out of that and I'm gonna to switch to my construction layer first. All right, now it's important to understand if you watched my other videos before, you know that AutoCAD is designed around the way people used to draw on a drafting board. So our construction lines are kind of those lines that are gonna guide us on where things are, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create kind of the overall outline and location for this center of this sort of keyway, whatever you wanna call it here. And I'm gonna create the outline that I'm gonna use in order to put in these different areas on my um, bottom part here, okay? So if you've been assigned this or if you're just watching this, maybe screen grab um, one of those earlier frames just so you can maybe put it over on the side of your monitor or something like that. If you get a second monitor, utilize that um, for sure, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna make sure I'm on my construction layer. I recommend a lighter color because that doesn't draw your attention quite as much. And I'm going to create what's called an X line. All right. I like to type a lot. I know you can go up here and click things and that's great and everything. But if you learn to type in AutoCAD, you can run, run it a heck of a lot faster. So X line is going to give me an infinite line. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to start at my zero comma zero point. And that's going to connect me to my origin. Now my first line I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in a horizontal line, so I'm gonna move down. I of course could just say it's a horizontal line, but I'm just gonna move down till it lines up horizontal and click. And then I'm gonna rotate back and I'm gonna put in a vertical line. And then I'll hit escape. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offset my general sort of frame of my piece. Okay, so first off, let's put the overall width. So I'm gonna go O enter. And my first offset, the overall width of this piece is four. So I'm gonna put four, enter, and I'm gonna select this side. I'm gonna to move to the right and I'm gonna click. Now it's up to you if you wanna hit space bar, space bar again and type in every time. You can do that. When I use the offset method, what I kinda of like to do is I click the line, I move in the direction I wanna offset it in, and then I'm gonna type in. So the next offset up is gonna be 1.5. That's my next point that I'm gonna to need to snap to later. And then from the bottom to the center of that keyway uh, circle or arc from here up to here is 5.5, just like that, okay? And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a line down the middle so that I can snap to where they intersect um, in order to locate that keyways because it's a symmetric part. So I'm gonna pick this side, I'm gonna move to the right. Okay, you can see I moved to the right here. And our overall width was four, so I'm gonna go two, and I'm gonna hit enter, okay? I know I can put in the other lines for like the holes and stuff like that, but let's focus on the hard part, okay? Let's get the outside of this piece done first off, all right? So we'll hit escape again. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting things in. So I'm gonna switch to my object layer. And first, I could, if I wanted to, I could put in the bottom. So I'll go L, enter for line, and I'll click here, and I'll click here. And if these green snaps aren't on, by the way, that's right down here, your object snap key, or you can hit F3 to turn it on. I'll click here, I click here, and then I'll hit escape to get out of that. Then I'm gonna create a circle. So I'm gonna type C, enter. I'm gonna look down here to see what kind of circle I'm gonna be creating. I want a radius circle. Oop. 
for you to come up here. I was messing around with this earlier. Um, but I'm gonna create a circle. I'm gonna click right here. And you can see I'm creating a radius circle right now. My radius for that outside arc was 1.5. There we go. So we can see it doesn't go all the way to the end. Now here's where it gets tough, folks. A lot of people like to assign this to their students because it comes out of a really popular AutoCAD tutorial book. Um, I, in fact, have this book for my students as well. Um, but when I teach this part, I always give an actual sort of like assignment sort of walkthrough of how to do it because this is some high level geometry stuff. You got to really think here. OK, um, so a couple things. First off, this is an arc, this 3.5 arc, and you're going to look at it right away and you're going to say, where the heck is the center? I don't have any dimension here, which would have been the logical way to actually create this piece is for AutoCAD's tutorial to give you the center, considering this is like a beginner tutorial. Um, but unfortunately, they did not. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some high-level geometry here. We know that this has a radius of 1.5, and these two arcs are tangent, meaning they touch at exactly one point, and they are exactly from the center of this to where that tangent point is will be 1.5. From the tangent point of this to the center of this arc, will be 3.5. So let's take those two numbers and let's add them together. Okay, so from here to out here is 1.5. And then from there to the center, wherever the heck it is here, is 3.5. So that means from the center to there is somewhere on a circle that is 1.5 plus 3.5, which is five. So let me move that back over. Let's come over here. C, enter. Let's, oop. And I forgot to do one quick thing. Let's switch it back to construction. This isn't going to be an object line. C, enter. And that's going to be 5. Okay? So somewhere on this arc is the center of our tangent circle. Who knows where right now, right? Okay. So from we also know that because this comes through and crosses this point right here, and we've established where that point is, is 1.5 up and it's 4 over, that means that from that point to the center of that circle is somewhere on a circle that has a radius of 3.5. All right, I'll show you how that works here. So we come back over here, we go C, enter. We move right down here, we click this point, and we're gonna say 3.5. Of course, you could have done all this with object lines and trimmed it at the end, but I like construction lines. You can go back and kind of figure out how you do it. So now we know where the center is because this circle and this circle, both by definition, will show us somewhere on there where the center is. And the only place that they would both share a center would be where they intersect. So now I'm gonna switch back to my object layer. I'm gonna go C, enter. I'm gonna hover over this intersection point, okay? And now I'm gonna create a circle that is 3.5. Would you look at that? Perfectly tangent there, perfectly crossing through there. It's incredible. Okay, now from here, what I recommend you do is you create, you turn off your uh, construction layer and you start trimming and create the outline as best you can, okay? So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna turn off our little light bulb for that. So now no one knows how we got there, it was magic. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go TR for trim. I'm gonna get rid of all this out here, okay? And I can't really trim this right now. Okay, that's all right. We'll trim it in a second. So let's hit escape. And then let's do a little mirror command to bring that over, okay? Of course, you could do the same thing. You go from here, five radius, and then from here, 3.5 radius and find it. But here's a faster way to do it. MI is mirror, hit enter. Pick this arc, hit enter. Now hover over the edge of your circle to find the center. Draw a perfectly vertical line, however long you would like, and click. And it's gonna ask you, do you wanna erase the source objects? The first thing, we're gonna say no, so I'm just gonna hit enter. And now I have the other side. Now I can go TR for trim, hit enter, and get rid of that little piece of the arc. Now I have the full outside shape of my object, okay? So I'm gonna hit escape again. Now we're gonna look at this again. So right down here, we can see 
that we have a keyway, and I'm willing to bet you if we do a little bit of math, this is perfectly offset in here. Okay, so let's check. This one here says it's 3.5. This is four and a quarter. If we take the difference there, 4.25 minus three and a half, that is 0.75. Okay, let's see if this is consistent. This radius is 1.5. This radius is 0.75. 1.5 minus 0.75, that's also 0.75. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back over here. We're gonna go O, enter for offset. We're gonna type in 0.75. And we're gonna pick this radius. We're gonna move in. We're gonna click. We're gonna pick this radius. We're gonna move in. We're gonna click. We're gonna pick this radius. We're gonna move in. We're gonna click. Now look at that. We've got part of the keyway already done. Okay, now let's hit escape. And let's turn on our construction lines again. Okay. Whoop. Got it. One quick thing. Turn on the construction lines again. I gotta just hit the light bulb, but I didn't want to just switch to it. Now we'll switch to construction. We got a couple things we're gonna create now. We're gonna create the bottom line here, which is two and a quarter from the bottom. You can see that right here. And we're gonna locate these. Okay? So these guys, these little circles, are 0.75 from the bottom and they're one over from the center in both directions. So let's locate them. First, let's create that first line. O, enter. Let's take our bottom line up two and a quarter, so 2.25. Hit enter. Pick the line, move up, click. Next, let's take that bottom line, click, move up, and this one's going to be 0.75. That's where our little center points there are for our lines, okay? Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to locate where each of them are from side to side. So we're going to pick this line from the center, because it's a symmetric part. We're going to move to the left, and that was one over. Now they don't say that that applies two times. We're going to assume they do. What you'll find in these tutorial packages is that they're not really real drawings, because that should have like a two times in front of it. Or um, if we want to go like really old school, we could put a TYP after, typical. Um, but we don't do that anymore um, by certain standards. So, or just put the other dimension in. That's also a simple solution. So we're gonna pick this middle one. Again, we're gonna move to the right. We're gonna type one, we're gonna hit enter. There we go, okay? Now we can hit escape. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in here and look at where these lines cross. Now I'm gonna tell you, these construction lines don't need to stay forever. If you wanted to go through and erase these circles and erase the lines you already used that you're not going to use anymore, you could do that, okay? Like, for example, you might get confused and accidentally try and trim this and create a line here when in reality the line for the inner keyway is up here, okay? But let's go back to the object line. I'm going to walk you through it. Let's go object, L, enter. The bottom of this keyway goes from this intersection point to this intersection point, okay? We'll trim it after. The circles are where these lines that we offset over cross this 0.75 line. Okay, so we're gonna go C, enter. Those circles have a diameter of one. So we're gonna go from here, we're gonna click here, and we're gonna type in 0.5. We're gonna go here. We're gonna click here. Okay, and we're gonna go 0.5. If you're wondering how I repeated the command that fast, I'll do it one more time. C, enter, click. 0.5, enter. Now, if I hit spacebar, boom, brings me right back into the circle command. And I'm gonna go over here, click, 0.5, enter, okay? Now, let's turn our construction lines back off. And we can quickly see what we need to trim, right? And this actually happens to end up being tangent, so be careful here, okay? Um, you might end up, I probably should have trimmed it first. That isn't quite tangent, it crosses through a few times. All right, so let's go TR, enter. Let's go down here, let's get rid of this line. Let's get rid of this line. And let's get rid of that line. Don't just trim this, because if you trim this and you zoom in, if I was your teacher, I'd mark you off for this. Okay, that's not good. All right, if someone's using this for like a plasma cutter or something like that, and they're trying to pick edges, they might accidentally make something that's not a circle now. Okay, so let's trim this. Trim that, and now 
Ooh, look at that. That thing messed up a little bit. So let's hit escape. And then let's just mirror that over. M, I, enter. Pick this line, enter, hover over the arc. Pick the point, move straight down, click, hit enter. Now you're done with the piece. Um, now, if you wanted help with the um, center lines, if your teacher wants you to create the center lines, it's very simple. Um, you're just going to need a center line layer. I haven't created one. Um, I can create one real quick if you'd like. Of course, when I give this to my students, they're going to have to create center lines. So I suppose I probably should. All right, so let's rename this to center line. Just double click on this, load. Let's find some center lines. Uh, this one looks pretty good. We'll hit OK. We'll pick the center line. We'll hit OK. We can see that now as a center line there. And if you're creating a center line, I'm not going to create all of them. Um, but if I was creating one for like this circle, for example, and close out of my layers, I'd switch to center. And I'd go L, enter, hover over the center. OK. And it's up to you. What I kind of like to do is I will actually usually offset lines out to get them a certain distance away, but you could also kind of like go like this. And when you click, it's going to be a center line. My scale's a little off. But the thing that I kind of like to do is in my construction layer, I'll do this. So if I know this is 0.5, I'll go O enter 0.625. I'll go this one's going to go up to here. This one's going to go out to here out to here and down to here same up here uh, oop, I already got that one this one's gonna go here this one's gonna go here okay and then when I go and draw my center lines in I can go to center line L enter let's go from here down to here space bar space bar from here over to there space bar space bar here to here, space bar, space bar, here to here, space bar, space bar. And if you can't quite see your line, so like if you go back, you turn your construction lines off, and you're like, ah, oh, it doesn't look like a center line, but I set it up that way. Type LT scale, that's line type scale. Hit enter, right now I'm at one. So if I wanted like twice as many like hatches, say there was like two hatches, it would go to four, go 0.5. And now look at that, now I got center lines. Okay, if I wanted it to be even more dense, honestly, I think this looks pretty awesome. But if I wanted it to be more dense, I could go like 0.25. Look at that, now there's more. Okay, so that's how you would put center lines in. But based on this piece, the only other thing you would need center lines for would be the center of this circle. Okay, so what the heck, let's put them in. So I actually have some lines there. Let's offset some other lines. So let's go, that one's 1 1.5. Let's go 1.625. Let's go out here. That looks pretty good. Look at that. This one's going to go, I'm going to use those other lines in a second. That one will go up. That one will go down. Okay, and then I'll hit escape. Go to my center line layer, and I'm just going to put in some lines. I'll enter from here down to here. Space bar, space bar, from here over to here, space bar. And then if I go back and turn off my construction lines, look at that, I got some nice center lines. Show me where the center of that is. Your center line on this piece, even though it is symmetric, for making a real drawing, really should not go all the way down here. Okay, if you're trying to indicate some sort of mid-plane, GD and T, something like that, you should pull out a dimension and then put a datum in line with that dimension. Okay, but for this tutorial, I'm just showing how to make the part. Okay, how to make it. So I hope that helped. I appreciate the person who, uh, the subscriber who suggested it to me because it's a really good piece for people to learn um, some really good geometry tricks to figure stuff out. Okay.